Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. Uh, in this project, we'll be making a mug holder, uh, or you can call it a mug stand. Um, this is a beautiful piece uh, that you can keep around the kitchen. It can be a gift as well. It's easy to make, you just need three pieces of wood and you're good to go. So get ready to build. Here's a list of the tools and the materials that I use for this project. And also, also remember to purchase your hooks as well. And when it comes to your wood cut, you only need three different wood cuts. So it's easy. Get pumped up, let's get ready to build. This project is easy to assemble. You only need three different wood cuts. You need the 190 millimeter cut, you need the 165 millimeter cut, and also you also need the 305 millimeter cut. So what I'm doing here is just basically putting glue between the two um, different wood cuts. So if you have a hot glue or anything which bonds very quickly, please do use it because I struggled a bit with my glue because it took a bit of time to bond together. Also take note that um, normally when you're working with a drill, um, your drill bits normally will come out as you can see in the picture. So what you can just do, don't panic, just put it back in and then go on and continue with your project. The first thing that I did was to pre-drill the wood um, because I needed to put a screw right in the middle of the two uh, wood cuts. Uh, this was going to help uh, keep the two pieces together. Um, what I learned here was that I tried to use clamps but it didn't work at all. So um, if there's anyone who knows another alternative on how I can put everything together besides using a stronger glue, please do suggest. Once the two pieces are all glued up together, what I just did was I just eyeballed the middle of the stand. So please do use a tape measure to measure the middle of where the stand is. And I pre-drilled the two different boards um, because I was going to put a screw right in the middle of the two different boards and also the, the rack itself. When you're putting the pieces together, just make sure that you hold the bottom po portion of the stand because it will move or, or shake around. So, which is one of the struggles that I had. So just make sure that you hold it down in the bottom so that you're able to pull down the screw, the screw together. So I use my 60 millimeter screws to just to put the three pieces together to make sure that it's nicely tightened and secure. Please remember to share this video with your friends, with your family, or anyone who may want to make this as a gift for someone. After securely tightening all the three pieces together, now you're all done and you move on to the next phase, which is sanding and painting. Uh, I made an error and I went overboard when I was pre-drilling my pocket holes. So what happened is that I put a bit of wood filler to cover the holes and I waited a bit until I could sand it down. Always remember to put on your safety glasses when working with um, sanding or anything that may affect your eyesight. If you don't have an electric sander, one of the alternatives that you can use is a block sander. That is the cheaper version of an electric sander. It works the same way. The only difference is that you just need to put in a lot of work, but it works perfectly as well. When I'm done sanding, I used a mahogany stain. Uh, throughout the whole uh, mug holder so um, I didn't do any two tones this week likely <laughs> so we wanted to do something different so there's no two tones so just only one stain um, and also um, if you have any suggestions on how to um, apply a stain what I can suggest is that um, it's just a, like basically putting on lotion that's how I feel like it's just putting on lotion and then just rub it throughout your wood surface after the stain was nice and dry, what I did was just to pre-drill holes so that I can prepare putting my hooks on. So what I made a decision to just put on three different hooks and instead of four. Um, the reason for that, I just wanted my cups to have a bit of space on it. The hooks that I chose are a bit different, so you need to put in a bit of work on them. Uh, so you make sure that you turn them until they're securely tightened. Um, so the tip here is that don't over pre-drill the wood because if you over pre-drill it, it will not be tight as much as you want.
this last hook gave me a bit of a hassle because i made a mistake by pr over pre-drilling my wood so please don't make that same mistake After I was done securing my hooks, what I realized is that the middle portion was a bit wobbly. So what I did was just to pre-drill again and then added another screw right at the bottom of the base of the uh, coffee mark stand. Here's another tip. If you don't have necessary wood cutting equipment, um, what you can do is to go to your nearest home improvement store or your nearest hardware so that they can cut the different cuts for you. Uh, don't feel intimidated that you don't have the necessary wood cutting equipment and please do use the service that they offer at the different um, hardware stores. Now that I'm all done with the stand, I just use a clear vanish which, which is water based. As an added bonus, I just took my sender and I just give it a bit of a buff because I wanted a bit of a rustic feel on the stand. So I just give it a bit of a touch up and a buff around the edges so that the stain must just be removed a bit so that it must have a nice feel to it. Now that you're all done sanding, you can just dust off the necessary debris which are left on the piece. Um, and you're all done and this piece is beautiful. It's easy to make. Um, it will take you less than 10 minutes tops to just finish this complete piece. Uh, you can gift it, you can give it to a friend, to a family member, uh, or you can keep it uh, for yourself. So please do try this and remember to share this video with your friends and your family or anyone who may be interested in our project uh please um see you next time and thank you so much cheers bye